In this video, I want to show you how to connect your Android smartphone or tablet to your HP DeskJet 2827E, how to print and also how to get the scan results from here directly to your phone. So let's get started. Step number one is to connect this printer to, your, uh, to the same Wi-Fi network as your phone. And to do this, well, we need to put the printer in pairing mode if it's not already in that mode. So the first step is to actually enable the Wi-Fi on this printer. Go on the control panel right over here. And what we need to see is this uh, light over here, right beside the Wi-Fi button, blinking blue. If it's blinking blue, it means that it's in pairing mode and this is what we want. If it's not blinking blue, like in my case, so you'll need two fingers to do this. You're gonna keep press the X button and the Wi-Fi button both until the blue light starts flashing blue. So let me do it with you. I'm currently pressing both of these buttons. It's for around three seconds, two, three. Okay, it's blinking blue. I can release these buttons. And right now the printer is in pairing mode. On your phone, go on the Google Play Store and press the search button over here. And we're going to search for the HP app. Simply type HP. This is the app that you need to download to be able to connect your printer to the Wi-Fi network and also how to print and scan. So go ahead and open the app once it's downloaded. You're going to press on add device. You're going to press on set up a new printer and you're going to select Wi-Fi. Press continue. Continue. Select your uh, DeskJet 2800 series. Enter your Wi-Fi password. This is the network name over here. It should be the same network as your Android is currently connected to. It's simply asking for the Wi-Fi password so that the printer can connect as well. I'm going to press continue. Here it will ask us uh, to press the I button on the printer in just a few seconds. Here we go. It asks us to press the I button. The I button is this one blinking, so just press it once and the setup will continue on the smartphone. Press continue. Here you can select accept all, all or decline optional data. You're not obligated to share your uh, usage data with HP, so I will suggest you click on decline. Why give this company your private information when you can avoid this? Select your country and region. Press continue. They will try to sell you their HP Plus subscription service, but you're not obligated to do so, okay, to subscribe. I'll press do not activate HP Plus over here, but if you want it, well, go ahead and do it. Decline HP Plus. Continue. And now they'll ask you to sign in into your HP account. So in my case, I'll sign in in my HP account. If you don't have one, you can create one. Again, it takes two minutes and it's free. Now, after I sign in into my HP account, they ask me if I want to sign in into the HP, uh, another HP subscription service. And there was no way to cancel that screen. The only thing I did is to exit the app. And okay, I exit the app simply by closing it completely when I saw that they were trying to sell me another subscription service and press again to open the app. This is the only way I was able to get rid of that screen. Unfortunately, I didn't film it. I forgot to press the record button. Anyway, now the printer has been installed and set up on your phone. If you want to print without the app, you can go ahead and open any files on your smartphone you wish to print. So I'll go in the photo gallery Press the three dots over here. Uh, once you, I found a, a picture I want to print, and then select print. Go on the top, tap, and then you're going to select your HP DeskJet 2800 series. If it's not a picture you want to print, you can go ahead and open the files app on your phone and select a PDF file. It's the same process, really. If you go over here, you're going to have a few options. So the paper size, how many copies you want. Do you want in black and white or in color? Okay, stuff like that. Press the yellow button. Okay. And now it's printing. Here is the result. Now you can print using the app as well. 
is just why would you go through an app when you can just avoid it, honestly? So if you want to print through the app, open it, click on your printer anywhere, go down, and over here you're going to have print photos if you want to print a picture or print a document and it's the same process okay click over here select where is located your photo or documents and you're going to select uh, the number of copies and other details honestly i'll just skip and print directly the way i showed you if you want to scan you're going to open the scan lid and you're going to place your document facing down with the top part of your document towards the right side just like that to align this uh, sheet of paper, you need to make sure that this corner over here touches this corner of the scanner. So just bring both, okay, until both are touching. Close the lid, go back on your phone, and on the app, okay, let me go on the main menu. If you're over here, simply tap on your printer. Once you open the app, go down and select scan. On the top, you can tap over here. You can select your paper size that you have input. In my case, it's a letter size, so I'll leave it like this. Select the resolution. If you're scanning a picture, select 300 dpi. If it's just a text document, just leave it to 200. And if we go down below, you can select if you're scanning a document or a picture. There's other options, but honestly, most people will never use those. So it's not even worth showing you. At the end, press the scan button and wait. It takes around 12 seconds to scan a sheet of paper, but the result will not be saved on your smartphone yet. I'll show you how this is done once the scan is completed. All right, scanning completed. Now you'll be able to edit the borders of the scan. So as you see, you can use your fingers or simply, in my case, I'll press full. The whole thing will be saved. I mean, the whole, I want to select everything. Press next. On the top, you'll be able, let's say you want to scan multiple pages and combine them in one single PDF document. Well, go ahead, remove this one, put the next page you wish to scan and press the add button over here. You'll be able to have multiple pages on your screen. Then you have the option to rotate your scan. Whoops, over here, rotate extract text or even scribble. So if you want to make some annotations like a, an arrow or circling stuff, you can do this by clicking over there. If you're not happy with the scan result, press the three dots and you can delete it and start again. Down below, these are the settings that most people are interested. So you have print preview. So whatever is over here, if you press that button will get printed. And then you have share and save. The other ones, again, not many people will use them. If you press share, you'll be able to give this um, file a new name. This is the default name, but you can edit it and write something that makes sense for your project. You're gonna select the file type. So if it's an image, select JPEG, but if it's a text document, most people will prefer having a basic PDF instead. And at the end, press share. You'll be able to share it through the different apps that are installed on your smartphone. If you have contacts, you're going to see some contacts over here and you'll be able to share with them. If you want to save this file on your smartphone, in that case, you're going to select save. And again, you can give this file a new name. You can, you can select the file type if you're not happy with the one you see over there and then press save and your file has been saved and it's on your smartphone memory now. So this is about it. I hope my tutorial was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget also to check my Amazon links if you want to get some paper, some ink for your printer, or if you don't like this printer and you want a brand new one, well, I'll put links towards other printers that I think are better.